So, what is your name and how old are you? Lennox Cody, I'm eight years old. Almost nine now. Okay. Um, so, what's your relationship to the Kairos? To Kairos? Uh, it helps. Uh, what do you know about it? It helps indigenous people in like a blanket thingy. It called, they have a thing called a blanket exercise. And it like, they're like, so people bring a bunch of blankets and uh, they have cards. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a person says, if you have a blue card, you go in that blanket. It represents, you know, okay, like yeah, history. Yep, so that's your relationship, the blanket exercise, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about who you are and introduce yourself a little bit? Like so. I am Lennox Cody. I I'm live in Canada, Ottawa, Planet Earth, um, Universe Milky Way, and <laughs> uh, so and that's where I live. So and and like, where do you go to school? What do you like to do? Come closer. My my, my favorite hobby is uh playing soccer, doing sports. Okay, and. I go to school at Our Lady Mount Carmel School. It's a great school. You should go there when you grow up, if you're a kid. Okay. I don't think you will. <laughs> okay, and um, what does peace mean to you? So, peace. What do you think of when you think of that word? Uh, when two people that fought each other. No, no. That to have. Uh, Come closer. Um, huh. let me think about this question. Okay, just peace. Peace is when two nations or people or countries, like, are nice to each other and don't go like, ah, war! <laughs> okay. Um, also, I have another question. What does freedom mean to you? Freedom means when you're free. Like, free of something, like, free of school, free of war, free of Bum. something, and that's what freedom is. Like, mm -hmm. you're, like, away from something that you, like, don't have to do that anymore. So, what's next? Okay. <laughs> what does it mean to be safe? Uh, what does it mean when you feel safe? Like, when you're in a safe ah, position, easy. there's many ways to stay safe. I know, uh, say, like, if you're safe, if you're, like, hiding, or safe, like, if you're oh, safe God. because your people are guarding you or helping you. Yeah, so, like, you're not in danger. Yeah. So, what? how do you explain that safe? Uh, how does it feel to you? It feels great. And what, it, what makes you feel like you're safe? Uh... My mom, she helps me a lot, and I'm safe. That okay, works. but in terms of, like, um, what you said earlier that it meant war to you, or peace between nations, okay? So you living in Canada or in this country and going to Mount Carmel, how does that make you feel safe? Uh, this country doesn't make me feel safe. It doesn't? No. Why? Because... There's a bunch of bunch of stuff going on with North America. And Donald Trump's in North America, so that case and the Okay. Um What do you as a child need for you for the above to be happen? So for you to feel peace, for you to feel freedom. And for you to feel safe, what do you need? You know, once I watched this video before. Orion, quiet. You know, I watched this video before at school. And it was about to make a difference. You know how you just make a difference about one thing, and then it goes on to another person, and another person, and it keeps going. And then that's like how you feel safe, because you just do one thing, and then it keeps going and going, and you just like, you know what I mean? Okay, so. That's what you think needs to be done for you to feel safe. Yeah, man. For people to do something and then somebody else do something. So, like, pass it forward. So everybody has a piece. Yeah, man.
Mm, that's so really good. Those people don't have war, so they don't hurt other people like me, you know? That's why I want them to feel peace, too. That's good. Okay. Um, You know what kind of work we at Kairos do? Nope. I don't, I, I don't work. I don't have a job. I go to school. Okay, so what do you think Kairos does? I told you it, it's, um, it helps people. It helps uh, mostly indigenous people. And because oh. like uh, a million, million years ago, there was a world <gasps> war against the indigenous and the uh, Europeans. They all fought, and I have no idea who won. And then, um... <laughs> Uh, they all, a lot of indigenous people died, and then the mm. Kairos community helped bring them back up and, like, rise, rise. Well, that, they didn't, but that's what they tried to do, I think. So, what else? So, if they were successful, then there wouldn't be any issues today, right? But we have to try, well, right? they're still trying. They exactly, yeah, you're right. They don't give up. Okay. Um... Be over. Hold on. Oh, you know what kind of work we had? Okay. Why is this work important for people to try to help people? Or um uh, because or like teaching no people, one, right? If no one does this, the whole indigenous race might uh, indigenous race might be extinct. Okay, so to keep our rights basically. Yes. Okay. Um children are supposed to have the freedom to play. And to choose their own friends. And to express themselves. Does that always happen? No. Why? Because there's still a bit like war going on with them. Some white people are still mad at us. Same with uh, uh, same, the Europeans are still mad at us. Same with um, brown people, you know? Mom, look. Like, I'm half brown, half native. Mom, look. Mm-hmm. Okay. So come closer, say that again. Okay, Mom. so. Mom. Trying to express himself, does this always happen? So. Mom. Why doesn't Mom. it always happen where you can't express yourself? Orion, just wait. Uh, um, because I. You know, my sister never talked to me. She doesn't like socializing. I'm good with socializing. So that's why I'm, that's why it's easy to you express never myself. Talk to me, Mom. When you eat, when, you, when you can socialize, it's easier, you know. So when you can socialize, that's when it's easier. Okay. Like, rip, rupees. What native people and the Europeans have to be rupees, rupees. What is rif, What does that mean? It means when someone treats you like, uh, uh um. They have to like uh, be nice to each other and treat them. If someone and they be nice to each other, uh, the other person has to be nice back. And then you know, no more war or fighting. That's what kind of rupees means. Okay, uh, you just learned me something here, my boy. Okay. Um. Why? Wow. So, what's your message for, if you could say something to all the children in Canada about the stuff we just talked about, about feeling safe and um, freedom and peace and expressing yourself. If you had a message to say to all the children in Canada, what would you say? I would say that I, I, I want don't trust any people that try, that try to say... Come with me. I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you cookies. Don't trust those people. But like in terms of like war and stuff and Donald Trump and how he makes you feel. What is the thing that I just said? Mom, he gets two. So don't go with bad people? Yep. (laughs) Okay. So you go with good people. Okay. So what what if if you could tell everybody in the world on all the grown up something? Do you want to tell them something about how to have peace and how to make everybody feel safe? What do you think maybe is the you answer? Listen, you know, maybe you should listen to the kids more. Because growing up, they created war, fighting, and kids, what did they do? 
Um, uh, Bruce, uh, no, 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 um, uh, like, I can't name all these, uh, really good kids. They'll help the world, world. They helped it. And what are they going up to? Name me one thing that almost did that help the world. They make kids. That's the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, I think that's the last question. Thank you, Lennox. Wait, wait. But not all grown ups can make kids. Okay, true. That's so true. Okay. Thank you. Are you going to say bye? Peace out. Peace out. Okay.